The Taraba State Ministry of Water Resources and its agencies, the Taraba State Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Agency, and the Taraba State Water Supply Agency, otherwise known as Water Board, is the arm of government constitutionally saddled with the responsibility of developing, managing and providing portable and clean water safe for drinking for all Tarabans. This great tax has not been without challenges. Previous administrations, through the ministry and its agencies, had made efforts to meet the ever-growing water needs of Tarabans. However, the increase in population both in the rural and urban areas has continued to make such efforts inadequate. The coming on board of architect Darius Dixon Ishaku as the executive governor of Taraba State met an epileptic water supply structure. Hawkers and local vendors had taken over the water supply needs of about 80% of Tarabans in the urban centers, most especially the Jalingo metropolis, providing water from unknown sources whose consumption quality could not be ascertained as safe for human consumption. The administration took the bulls by the horns to address the water needs of Tarabans, which is considered a major priority. It captured in its master plan, the rescue agenda, deliberate approaches towards ensuring that Tarabans will not only enjoy portable and drinking water, in the first quarter of 2017, but in the years ahead, beyond 2035. I hereby officially launch this rescue agenda, uh, in the program at this administration, to deliver the services of the citizens of Taraba State, with the prayers to the Almighty God that a new dawn for the good of the people of Taraba State is here with us. Realizing that the rural areas have a large population when put together, this administration in conjunction with Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA, jump-started the portable water supply program with the sinking of 100 boreholes in various communities based on need in 2016. In 2017 appropriation budget, despite recession, Provisions have been made for sinking of additional 150 boreholes across the state with plans to double this effort. The African Development Bank Urban Water Supply and Sanitation Project for Jalingo Metropolis and Environs received the greatest boost since conception from the state government with the setting aside of at least 11 million naira every month, recession or not, as its counterpart funding, aside from its monthly running costs, to ensure that the set target for portable water delivery was not jeopardized. This singular effort on the part of His Excellency has revolutionized the water supply landscape of Jalingo Metropolis and environs. Under the African Development Bank project, the following remarkable achievements have been accomplished. Drilling of 20 industrial boreholes at Korofi Water Field with pumping capacity of 20 liters per second each amounting to 1,440,000 liters per day, reviving 15 industrial boreholes at Magami Water Field, construction of 3.5 million liters of water reservoir on Jalingo Hill, the construction of 2.5 million liters water reservoir on College of Agriculture Hill, the construction of 1.5 million liters elevated water tank at Mile 6, the construction of 1.5 million liters elevated water tank at Commissioner Quarters, and the construction of 100,000 liters elevated water tank at Kona Village. In order to ensure continuity in governance, this administration embarked on the renovation of 1.5 million liters groundwater tank on Jalingo Hill, renovation of 450,000 liters elevated water tank between Takma and Minister of Lands and Survey Jalingo, resuscitation of 1 million liters groundwater tank at Magami for storage and disinfection purposes, rehabilitation of 200,000 liters elevated water tank at mile 6, rehabilitation of 750,000 liters water tank at roadblock, rehabilitation of two 450,000 liters elevated water tank at College of Agriculture, Jalingo, and over 61 kilometers of transmission lines and distribution network interconnecting these facilities. Furthermore, His Excellency in conjunction with the African Development Bank 
helped to establish an internationally acclaimed water quality laboratory with a state-of-the-art water quality analysis equipment for quality control to ensure that Tarabans drink water that is safe for human consumption, as certified by World Health Organization, Nigerian Standards Drinking Water Quality, Standards Organization of Nigeria, and NAFDAQ. The African Development Bank Urban Water Supply and Sanitation Project for Jalingo Metropolis and Environs is presently undergoing test transmission and will hopefully commence full operation between the end of February and early March 2017. As a long-term measure to ensure sustainability of portable water needs for Jalingo Metropolis and Environs, this administration has introduced what is called the Jalingo Primary Water Supply Scheme, projecting sustainable water delivery beyond 2035. On assumption of office, having been briefed by the officials of water resources and the state water supply agency, I saw the need to upscale an ongoing water supply intervention supported by the African Development Bank. This has become necessary for obvious reasons. One, the AFDB project was packaged in 2008. 2008 and could not take off for implementation till 2012, when the water demand had doubled. Two, Taraba State being the most peaceful state in the Northeast sub-region, experienced an unprecedented population upsurge as a result of relocation of people into Jalingo due to the insurgency in the Northeast region. Three, my administration is determined to create an enabling environment that will attract investors in order to open up the state for social economic development and water supply is one of the basic visions that must as of a necessity be present to accelerate the development progress in the state and in the state capital particularly. I'll give you an example. I wanted the bottling company to move into the town the first question they asked me, do you have water? And I said, no. And that became an impossible tax to achieve. Under this scheme, His Excellency has initiated the construction of a gallery on River Lamurde at Saminaka, Jalingo, and through the agency awarded a contract of 6.8 billion naira for the construction of the scheme to deliver 28 million liters of water per day to complement the 47.3 million liters of water per day by the African Development Bank project to boost sustainable water supply by 100%. Yeah, you see, one, one, one critical issue with water supply is sustainability. Because it will make nonsense if after, huge, after this huge investment we allow the system to degrade again. We fall back to square one. So, uh, the issue of sustainability is key to every utility that serves the people. And uh, both the African Development Bank and the state government view this as a serious matter. A contract was signed in 2016. The contractor mobilized to site, and as we speak, work is at 40% completion, ready to be tested and running by early 2018. This makes it mandatory or necessary for the state government to look for avenues through which these infrastructures could be upgraded so as to meet the challenges of the time. Challenges in growth of the uh, population, the water demand, but for domestic, commercial, and under serial needs. In order to establish a sustainable platform, His Excellency, the rescue captain, had to personally undertake a benchmarking study trip along with managers of the Taraba State Water Supply Scheme. Uh, an MOU has been signed between the Taraba State Government, Nairobi County Sewerage and Water Supply Company in Kenya. That has been signed, and His Excellency has given approval for 